Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. Rain continues here in southern New England. The good news is it'll likely be gone by that morning commute, but there could be an issue with the morning commute. We'll talk about that in a second. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar looking at some very heavy rain just offshore and we are tracking this batch of rain right in here to the east of Block Island. That's going to be working its way on off to the north and east and perhaps working its way into Newport County, Rhode Island and eventually over into southeastern Massachusetts, probably within the next uh, uh, hour or so. In the meantime, Providence areas to the north and west a lot drier than areas to the south and east of the capital city was probably going to be seeing the rain around uh, through the rest of the evening where it is raining at the moment. This evening we have a medium threat of weather that will have an impact on your life that of course being the rain now overnight it kind of drops down a little bit. I think the rain will be mostly done by around midnight and then Monday I think we're going to stay at the low level. Downtown Providence we've got raindrops on the lens. We've got a, a light rain just just to the east of Providence. We picked up 13 hundredths of an inch of rain in the capital city. Meanwhile, over in New Bedford, about a third of an inch, close to a half an inch in the vineyard, more than a half an inch in Newport. Look at Block Island, more than an inch of rain. They've been seeing quite a bit of heavy rain over the last couple of hours. Temperatures right now are in the low to mid 40s, and those temperatures will go tumbling pretty far during the overnight hours. We have a frontal system off to our east, area of low pressure riding along and helping to enhance the the rain a little bit. That'll be shifting well off to our north and east for tomorrow. We're going to see a pretty good wind develop after midnight and for at least the morning tomorrow. It'll be noticeably colder on Monday, but at least we'll have the sunshine. Let's track this precipitation. Here we are 8 o'clock this evening. Rain continues to fall across a good portion of the area. Look at this little area of blue, perhaps some snowflakes or sleet pellets mixing in the backside of the storm system as cold air rushes in by tomorrow morning. As I mentioned, this is all gone. No accumulations expected with that snow. And here we are around uh, 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. Looks dry, looks dry into tomorrow uh, uh, evening around 9 o'clock. Temperature wise during the overnight though, this is interesting. We'll find overnight lows into the lower 30s across parts of the area with the wet roadways. Could be some patchy black ice, but I think the wind and the warm roads will kind of um, uh, limit the amount of black ice that we do see across the area, but it's something that we are monitoring overnight about 30 degrees for your overnight low temperatures. We'll see it maybe a little bit of snow and sleet Tuesday and Wednesday. We're looking at sunshine looks OK really anywhere across the northeast. Even on Thursday, looking OK. Friday, mild 60, and we'll see a chance of rain next Saturday. It looks like a, a dry week ahead once we kick this rain out of here. All right, TJ, looking at